here that we're expecting 169 respondents from 14 military camps. Hmm, di ba? Hindi pa dumadating, ma'am, no? Sana makaabot sa July. Okay? So we could process it po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Opo. So malalagay po siya. Hindi ko lang malagay kasi wala naman talaga. Right? No? So, nilalagay ko siya pag dumating na siya. Okay? Hindi ko alam po. Research po ito. Hindi po ito pay. No, oh, research, research. Okay. Next. Let's do it by ecclesiastical territory. Ayan na. Wala sa daet. I'm going to report those responses na mababa talaga, na walang nagbigay. Wala sa daet. Legaspi, this is interesting. One. Libam, wala. Masbate, two. Virak, one. For the Catholics. Okay? My dears, we cannot do it anymore. We will have to live with what we have. This is what, tama ba sabi ko, Father Dex? This is what Father Dex said in Acts. Stop giving, stop waiting, process the data, right? Okay, so we're going to process the data now. Okay, so, okay. So yun na-receive namin, hanggang doon na lang. Huwag na kayo mag-survey. Hindi na namin matatanggap po. Okay, so, kagaya ni Oro, we're missing malay-balay, which is very interesting. They, I've, I've heard that they have a, a sophisticated uh, catechetical ministry there. Yes, so we yes. lost, we lost, we lost them along the way. Diocese of Tandak is another. Oh, oh. Yung mga modules ng malay-balay, sinasabi sa amin, wow, we saw it and everything, but we did not receive any responses from anyone, right? So, what, we, what can you do? Copies. Wrong blonde. I do not know what happened. Okay? I hope it's with the other, ano pa po, na darating, right? I hope. Sa Cebu, and I'm very thankful for Cebu and the Visayas sa uh, ecclesiastical provinces. Overwhelming Visayas region response ang nakuha namin. Okay? Overwhelming. Okay? So, uh, look at Maasin, oh, 100. Chris, look at Talibon, oh. Ibang level, oh. Marami pa, oh. Opa, okay. Gusto niyo po ba explain ko? Yung questionnaire nila iba. So we have to pay more, right? For the encoding. So darating pa po yun, Father. Opa, opa. Yung pa po yung problema namin, okay? So, but look at this. 3,000. But Dumaguete, we missed representations from Dumaguete. You could actually do an analysis representing each ecclesiastical province na from, from this purpose, okay? So, so wala namang problema doon sa sampling. The problem is, walang magagamit ang Dumaguete para sa pastoral planning nila ng katikatikal ministry. Yun ang problema. Right? Oo. Next. Cotobato. O, oh, tingnan mo, Cotobato. O, oh, meron mga responses. Diba? They're trying. Right? They're trying. Uh, hard. Right? Marbel, 12. O, oh, sige. Davao. O, oh, look at Davao. 1,400. 1,400. Mati, wala kami nakuha. Okay? Mati. So, 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 any, kasi ang nakikita namin, Kung, kung meron lang structure ng EP, kasi wala kaming ganun eh. Nasabihin namin, yung malapit na region sa inyo, walang nagre-respond. We were not able to, to, to... You don't have a mechanism on that. Hindi kayo nag-uugnay-ugnayan based on EP. Right? Sabi ko, sayang. Kasi you have a shared culture probably, more likely. Language probably. So, say, yun sana yung pwedeng gawin. But anyways, we cannot... Uh, let's be under control. Haro! <laughs> Na, 2,000, Haru is good, Bacolod, 2, Cabangkalan, 1, San Carlos, 0, then San Jose, the Antique, 449. Okay? So, if you're going to ask me what's my sociological reading on this, this reflects the, the leadership of each ecclesiastical territory who responded. I don't know, but yun lang nakita ko. Pag marami kayo na po, ibig sabihin, talagang may, may, ano, may, may nangyayari doon. Look at Lingayan Dagupa. 350, ang maganda, magandang distribution, right? Maganda distribution itong ecclesiastical province na to, right? All represented, right? Okay? Now, Lipa. Yan. Infanta, saka San Jose, Medyo yun yung nagkaroon tayo ng uh, low response. Okay? Okay lang? Let's move on. Manila. Yan. 
So, Tai Tai, even Tai Tai, I went to uh, Puerto Princesa to, to make sure. Oh, nagkaroon sila ng 13 responses. And we have about uh, 4,000 for the entire Manila. Okay? Okay. Nueva Segovia. Ay, nako, sorry. Hindi ko nakita yung ano, nagkamali ako. 10 to 88. Right? Medyo mababa. Nueva Segovia. Okay? Nueva Segovia 2. Sa lawag, 1. You know what? What is I do not understand. Yung sa lawag, nakipagnay sa amin yun eh. Tapos hindi, wala na. Hindi ko na alam na, nasan yung ano nila, survey nila, no? Hindi nakarating sa akin. I heard, I, I heard that there were, ano eh, there were surveys eh. But, wala nakarating. Osamis, oh wow. I do not know what's happening here. Tingnan mo yung response, oh, no? ng Osamis. It's really great, no? You know what you did? Yung na hindi nyo po napansin. You know what you did? What you did was to get a sample, photocopy it, and then distribute it, right? And wow! And then it reached us. No? Look at this. Beautiful. Now, palo. Palo, palo. 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 Palo is one, four. Yung naval, medyo may mababa sa kakatarman. Okay? Are you getting it? Okay. Next. San Fernando. Yan. Tarlac. Naku, ito kasi... Sinasabi sa akin ni Father, may problema talaga sila sa Tarlac eh. Konti lang yung katikista nila. Nandito ba si Father? Wala. Yung Tarlac. May taga-Tarlac dito. May, meron daw kayong problema doon. Konti lang daw talaga yung katikista niyo. Although malaki yung Tarlac, no? Kasi ako, alam ko, nung wala pang uh, yung, yung, SIT, ay, yung, yung T-Flex, tulog na ako, Tarlac pa rin eh. Ni, oh, oh, di, alam mo yun, may, pag nagbabiyahe ka doon, so, nasa na tayo, Tarlac pa rin. Tagal-tagal na nakakatatlong oras sa Tarlac, na buti na nga may T-Flex na, right? Oh, oh. Iba ng kwento. Pero nagtataka ako, bakit labing tatlo lang yung nag-respond, right? Tugigaraw, eto na. Tabo, Mayongbong, wala. Saka, Prelature of Batanes, dalawa lang yata doon, no? so hindi pa napasok yung responses. Okay? Why am I showing this? I'm showing this because this has an impact on what you're going to receive later for the descriptives. Minsan, prinasis namin one respondent lang. So, ano magagawa natin, right? One respondent lang talaga. Pero kung yung ET nyo is good, okay? With the 17,000, good. At least you have a feel. Pero yung mga huling nadating, hindi pa namin na-process. Okay? Next. Sambuanga. Yan. 498. Wala ang archdiocese. For sa Holo, sa Basila, tingin, ay, this is really crazy. Ang Basila may 110. <laughs> Naitindihan niyo po ba kung, kung ano yung nasa isip ko dito? Bakit yung mga taga-Basila nakapag-respond? Bakit yung iba na ano malapit lang, wala kaming data? No, ano nangyari? Ano nangyari, right? Okay, so, Ars Dice in Sambuanga, wala. Hindi nag-respond, okay, okay. Oh. Tapos holo, understandable naman siguro yung holo. Saka Marawi. Saan pa yung Marawi? Tandaan na natin. Osamis, no? Okay, okay. So, yung Osamis? Oh, wala talaga. Siyempre naman siguro. No? I-expect na natin yun, right? Okay. So, yung military ordinary. Ma'am, na-explain ko na po. Okay, so 169 yan. 169 ang ina-expect natin. Okay. So, what do you feel now? Okay, yan na yun, right? 70,000 of that were processed, okay? Not the 27,000. Here are the results. Okay? Ay, for the catechetical directors, we have 287 respondents distributed along by ecclesiastical provinces. Don't worry, this is not as... Uh, uh, this, this will be used and we're going to explain to you why we're problematizing catechetical leaders that category of the vector, you call yourself different names. We discovered it. Iba-iba yung tawag nyo sa sarili. My head, my chair, my coordinator. Kaya pagdating sa field, litong-lito sila. Ano mang questionnaire namin? Ito bang director? O ito ba? So, discovery namin yun. May problema kayo. Hindi mo ma-identify. Pag pumunta ka sa Paris, ano ka ba? Hindi ko alam. Ang dami nyo pala. May director, may head, may... I love it. I love it. You're so confusing. But I love it. I think this is the exciting thing about catechetical ministry, right? Mamaya, it's a challenge. Kasi kayo sa pastoral dimension nyo, ha? Okay. This is nice. If, if, if 
someone reading your data is not from the church, I think, right? Uh, uh, because this is from the purely research point of view. Okay, now, for the interview focus group, we have enough to process qualitative data. 32 were interviewed, FGD for the catechists were 15. We conducted 28 interviews for catechetical directors, leaders, or whatever you call them. And then focus group discussion, we had one. So ibig sabihin, we have enough data in the next two years to chew and to publish even books and produce thesis and dissertation. Now, data limitation for these purposes of presentation, uh, online paper-based, uh, we, we included them for the presentation. This includes both catechists and uh, coordinator respondents. We only are reporting 17,000 plus uh, responses. Presentation is only descriptive, not inferential. Because we could debate about the inferences later, then data results are only suggestive. Because remember, we have 10,000 more, right? We do not know what will happen to the census data when that 10,000 more uh, uh, are included. More inferences required uh, when possible. Empirical findings. So, what you're going to to have in the next few presentations, ako, si Joe, si Arthur, are really glimpses of the data. Okay, glimpses of the data. You have to take note what impact it has for you for pastoral purposes, because that will be something that you need to think about later. Okay? So, social demographic, ito na siya. Middle adult, medyo mga matatanda ng konte, 41 to 64 years old, about more than half. Female, overwhelmingly female. Okay? Overwhelmingly female, 91.4%. And then we have about <coughs> Married, but good. They are married in the church. Okay? Next. This is exciting. You have college graduate, you have college level, and you have high school graduates. As catechists, you should be happy. Okay? You should be happy. Those who are volunteering are actually educated. Okay? Next. Late. 80%. Imagine. Four of every five Catechists are late. <coughs> Lovely, no? What formal compensation? Oh, about about thirty percent transportation. Ito yung pinakamalaking na data tanga. Transportation allowance, and probably because it's the only thing that you could afford, right? In the parish and the diocese or what have you. Now, that's just an overview because pag binigay ko yung uh, catechetical content, uh, you will have more insights. Now, I just would like to return to the argument. Why is it that it's important to have an argument when it's you're doing research? No, nakatawa yun. I've heard and I've, uh, I've I've read and I've witnessed a lot of defense. And when I am one of the examiners, after one hour of presentation, my only question will be, so what's the main point of your thesis? Because <laughs> you don't have any argument. You don't have a thesis, right? If you're writing something. You have to have an argument. So all five presentations will have an argument, meaning this is something that you have to think about. This is something that you have to challenge. If you think it's too much, you have to tell us, right? Or, but if you think it's representing reality, then you confirm it, that this is how you are representing, representing reality. Pastoral insights. So here, I'm just repeating this one, that generally what we're finding really is that the landscape of teaching catechism in the country, if you're going to look at it, you could actually decipher in what points you could do some pastoral planning. Okay? And secondly, we are really discovering this faith-based service, the, 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 the faith-driven service uh, reflected in both catechists and directors. Okay? Now, social demographic implications. These are some of the questions that we're raising. This is quite different with other presentations we had. Because ito na to. This is it, no? We're questioning. Where are the men and young in CM? Nasaan sila? There is such gender and age discourse here. And I do not understand why there was never a mention of family catechesis along the way. It has been a recommendation of the first and second study about family catechesis. 
okay lang yung sa public schools. Pero sinasabi nila, doon sa study, ha, sabi, sabi ko nga, wow, four years old pa lang ako nung ginagawa ito, yung pa rin yung issue, right? Kasi, ba't hindi bumabalik? Bakit hindi bumabalik sa pamilya yung katikasis? Bakit nilalaan doon sa school, right? Inargue na ito. Hindi, this is not a new argument. And even in the church documents, ito yung sinasabi. Family catechesis. And also the liturgical catechesis. Meaning, there was never a mention of that. In all our interviews, and it's interesting, right? It's an issue of inclusive faith for us. How do you include more other segments of society uh, or of the church in order to be part of the catechetical ministry? The second one is what you call as a, the CM discourse. I think there are so many ways of introducing catechetical uh, catechetic of doing catechesis. There's no one way of doing catechesis. It's not just going to school. So there are many varied ways of doing catechesis. So sabi ko, wow, there's something here that we have to talk about. The many ways to do catechesis, right? I'm sorry, when I say catechesis, I really do not know anything about it. I'm a sociologist, right? So, so you don't have, please, do not think that I'm an expert of catechesis, catechism, or, or catechetical courses. I am no expert of that, na? Don't, don't, don't. Baka biglang kunin niyo po akong speaker to talk about catechesis. No, 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 no. I cannot do that, okay? I do not know that. I just have the indicators, ha? These are some of the pastoral indications. Also, the professionalization of CM. Is one thing that's coming out. Professionalization. However, because there are many volunteers that professionalize catechists, then we have to rethink about volunteering dynamics. How do you better the volunteer scheme? And, and this is from recruitment to formation to compensation. Ganda, di ba? Alam nyo, hindi ko naman alam ito lahat eh. Ay, hindi nyo kung ba yung nangyayari sa akin. Nadi-discover ko. Pero kayo, alam nyo na ito lahat eh, nung una pa. Diba? Parang pinaganda ko lang yung pagsusulat dyan, right? Naitindihan niyo po ba yung nangyayari? Yes. Opa, parang nakikita niyo yung realidad, pero totoo na wala akong alam talaga dito, right? Kasi nga researcher ako without knowing anything about catechetical ministry. Now, we realize recruitment, pag-volunteer, dapat meron ka ng scheme. Pabubuntay mo dun yung mapinakain, ha? Ah. Diba? Bibigyan kita transportation allowance matapos ang formation mo, ha? Huh? I love it, right? <laughs> Ang tindi. Meron pang grade, no? Alam, alam mo, ang dami nang pinuntahan kasi kaya ganito. Well, yung compensation, malaking issue yan talaga sa inyo, right? So it's an issue of retention and sustainability. You have to talk about how to retain and how to sustain. Hindi pwedeng lahat masa masaya lang, right? Okay. Diba? Chachikin pa yung attendance. Wala naman transportation allowance. Ay, sabi ko, I can't believe it! But if you have that, you check the attendance without any allowance. I love it, right? I love it, right? This is really mm, faith-driven service to, right? Uh -huh. And also, really mas, I love it, you are smiling, right? Uh -huh. And tandaan niyo po, ha? This is research. This is not a retreat, okay? This is research, ha? Huh? Research to, I have nothing to do with other things except research. Look at this. We discovered that there is such a thing as disconnect between catechetical ministry and current social issues. You don't talk about current social issues. You just talk about basic. And you have not moved on. So therefore, you cannot relate the things that you say to, your, to the catechized. That's our discovery. Next. Access to formation issues. The argument is simple. Where are the catechetical centers? Where are they? What are they doing? Should we support them? Why is it that the access to catechetical centers seems to be about center periphery dimension? Naintindihan niyo po, center. Center, yung center, yun lang yung nakakapag-aral. Yung periphery, wala talaga. Wala siya access eh. That's a discovery. Right? So, do we need to create more spaces for catechetical training? Not in the center, but in the periphery. Yes. Diba? Para, para nakikipag-away pati ako dito. Anyway, so, <laughs> formation. There are, we discovered no standard formation programs. Nap, 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 nap. And we need to understand that there is a big role of what you call an ecclesial, ecclesial community in catechetical ministry, meaning the parish life. Later, you're going to, uh, not to discover it. This is an issue of religious, continuing religious RE. Where is it happening? 
Okay? How are you doing it? Exciting, right? Content. No standard categorical module. You are just doing it differently. Is it good? I don't know. But you are, you're, it's different. Okay? I do not know. Do you need to produce a national module? I don't know. I mean, we don't know. Uh, local language is the preferred use, but all the catechetical modules are in English. May Filipino iba. Bisa, meron sa inyo, Father. Okay, yan. Yan ang preferred talaga. As in, dapat bisaya. Dapat sa buwano, dapat iloko, dapat, yun. Yun dapat, right? Uh, uh, this is understandable. Yukat and Dukat is not yet that yet. Uh, no familiarity yet in Yukat and Dukat. So, pr production of Katigatigal. Now, when it comes to pedagogy, I explain to Mama Yani, ano, ni, uh, ni Dr. Joe. Kwento, pero lecture yung ginagawa. <laughs> Gusto yun ng kwento, pero lecture lang yung alam, right? So, do you need to have creative? Do you have a day where you develop creative methodologies, right? Creative modules. Life in spiritual domains. Oh, wow. This is what we discovered. Faith-based service is how we are calling it as a social spiritual dynamic that's working with the catechists and the directors. I, we felt that there is such thing as the suffering Christ. Parang yung kanil-tulad ng sinasabi ni Sir Balpa, ni Bishop Hambo. So, issue to ng catechists, ng sacrifices ng catechists dahil nagbibigay sila ng time, yung family resources, saka finances. So, do we have a audio here? May audio, ano tayo? Meron. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Servant leadership, pa? Alaman dapat lahat ready. Ako kasi kayo jani. Parang ano siya? Let's see. So this is our journey, and then we're papalalim po na palalim to. Okay na po ba? It's so difficult to. To I know to um to um convince people about the role of research in life, right? But this is how we did it, and this is this was produced August, so some of you already you saw this one. with consultations with Father Dex, Father Putsu. Ito yung mga meetings namin sa UST. That's when they gave us 174,000. We went there sa San Jose for the launching. We thought that everybody could do the online. Wala po, wala nangyari. Caceres, may pumunta po doon sa Caceres, sa Batanes, Kabanatuan. Ako po pumunta sa Bontok, Lagawe. Um, And then, Lipa, Lucena, yan. Uh, Cebu, yan. Big yung mga pinakain sa amin sa Cebu. Maasin, San Jose, Tagbilaran, yan. And then, Cotobato, as far as Cotobato, Davao, Digos, Kidapawan, yan. 
Marbel. So, para mapakita ko lang na national study talaga to. Uh, ito yung sa sisip last year, sa Lipa. So, medyo mababaw pa yung sinasabi namin noon. Oh. <laughs> si Fang, 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 si and then we were we uh, sa iba, iba balanga yan sa bataan and then linggay ang dagupan we were given the chance na sister to ano to gather to gigaraw Shena College for the encoding uh UST nako marami akong uh, na walang estudyante dahil sa encoding transcription <laughs> sa inis sa inis pag encode right <laughs> Okay, and then this is the plenary where I shared the preliminary insights, the National Assembly for Ca of Catechists, and then uh, that's the NCST. So, ang point lang po, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have a proof that it's a national study. Hindi ito yung tipo ng hindi mo pinaglahanan ng panahon. Talagang pumunta kami sa some uh, specific areas, and then we asked help for everyone. Alright, so siguro convinced na kayo sa methodology, so let's get into a more exciting ways of understanding the data. Uh, sabi ko kanina kay uh, Father uh, Dex, na nagkakwentuhan kami, I'm especially sentimental when I hear about the death of Father Mark of Tugigarao. You know why? Because the first ever ecclesiastical territory that forced us to make a presentation of the National Catechetical Study was Archdiocese of Tugigarao. Mamaya, explain ko sa inyo yung comparative report between the national data and the Archdiocese of Tugigarao. Bishop was there, and so with Father Mark, listening to us for the Catechetical Ministry report. So, natuwa ako kasi first time yon. Hinay nila kami doon sa Apari. Sa Apari kasi ginawa ko, sa Lyceum ng Papari. Malapit po sa Lyceum ng Papari. Nadun po sila bishop, nadun si Archbishop, nadun po, nadun po lahat. And mga pari, meron silang tinatawag na yung pagsasama-sama ni po, Father. Ang tawag doon? Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Hindi ko po ma-pronounce kasi yan. Oo. So, Presbyterian. So, ang interest nila, intindihin nila kung ano nangyayari sa Catechetical Ministry nila. And they do not like anyone except for those with data. Wow. And we got 103 from them. 103 respondents to talk about representing them versus the national data. Later, I'm going to share it with you. Because the data, the national data will not mean anything if you're not going to compare it to your ecclesiastical territory. Because you do not know, hindi pwede, hindi pwede, may national plan. Kasi yung national plan, para sa bansa yun. Pero iba yung nangyayari sa bawat isa na kailangan yung maintindihan. Kaya may datos na mamaya, I'm going to show you an example. And I cannot do it for the entire 87, 86, ecclesiastical territory. But at least you will know that it could be done. But for now, let me end the first half, of the, the first fifth of the presentation with a fascination with Pope Francis. Um, love for the catechist. Because you know what? I, we discovered this. Si Pope Francis po pala, eh, cardinal pa siya sa Argentina, huh? ay sumusulat sa mga katekista niya. Isn't that sweet? No, no, I question yung mga abispo nagsusulat ba sa katekista nila? Right? Oh, so, no, no, no. Question lang. Meaning, kasi si Pope nagsusulat niya eh. Ito o, oh, Pope lang siya. At my latest pa siyang sulat. Meaning, I did not capture it, uh, Arthur, right? But look at this. This was a letter on August 21, 2012. Right? Ano sinabi niya sa kanya? I would just like to end this one. And please have a feel of it. It's beautiful. Sabi niya, While thanking you from my heart for all that you do as a catechist. My God. If the bishop will say that to you, right? Oh my God! Ay, may bishop ba dito? Wala naman ako. 
<laughs> no, I'm, I've been talking to them. I'm going to tell the same thing, right? Uh, for your time and your dedication, the prayer of Pope, I ask the Lord to give you an open mind. Wow, an open mind. So as to recreate dialogue and encounter among those whom God entrusts to you. Galing, no? Meaning, kung ano, when you start to talk about faith and teach catechism, talagang God is entrusting to you. Yung mga kinakatikais natin, right? And a believing heart. Yan. That's something to struggle with. A believing heart. So as to follow exclaiming that He is alive and loves us as no one else does. Now, oh, medyo Mama Mary na naman to. Pero specific Mama Mary to, Mary help of Christians. So, ibig sabihin, baskawan yan ito. <laughs> mukhang, uh, mukhang interesting itong si, ano, mukhang interesting to si, B, si, ano, si, si Pope, no? I have a picture of Mary help of Christians that says, You who believe, help me. May she help us to follow by being faithful to the Lord's cause. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. yeah. Now I turn you over to uh, Mom Ma Joss, Doctor uh, jo Trosho, for the teaching catechism uh, uh, argumentation. Okay, na? Okay. Ah, may break pa muna tayo. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So I think we will need to have a break. Okay. For uh, for how many minutes, po? Ten. 15. Okay, so we go back so we could finalize everything. Okay. Thank you so much for the first half. Okay.